Hello everybody. So just real quick, I wanna give you just kind of an introduction to assessing the sun, moon, and rising sign in your natal chart, your natal or, or birth chart. These are arguably the two most important parts of, of the three most important components of your birth chart to consider. Or a better way to say it is they should be the first three things you look at, okay? Now, your rising sign can be associated with your root chakra, okay? If you're familiar with chakras. And the root chakra uh, emerges from around the sacral bone area of your, of your body, okay? So the root chakra is where all of the energy gets compacted and comes into the vessel, all right? So that means because the root chakra is associated with Aries. Aries is the natural sign on the first house in the zodiac. So we can think of your first house or rising sign. And I'm thinking from whole signs perspective. Your first house where your rising sign would be or your ascendant is where the soul force comes into the vessel. Therefore, your rising sign is more than just your personality. It's more than just the mask you wear. It is your interface with the world through the vehicle that the soul has chosen to embody itself in, okay? So your rising sign will have a lot to do with the way, with your appearance. Um, it will also affect how you typically will handle situations or how you handle life because it's the first step that you take in life because it is what is rising at the time of your birth. It is in the east. East we associate with rising, where the sun rises, right? So it means in life, this is typically how you emerge into the world your rising sign, which is why it is so important. And really when I look at a chart, I'd look at the, I used to do look at the sun sign first out of these three. Now I look at the rising sign first. Um, now the danger with the rising sign is that it can sometimes overshadow the energies, especially of, of the sun, okay? Um, and many times, the way the rising sign develops, healthy or unhealthy, can be a result of the condition of your moon sign. Because your moon is how you receive the world. The moon regulates water on the earth. So water we associate with emotion, our emotions. So how you are receiving the world at an emotional level will have a lot to do with your moon sign. And if that moon sign uh, is compromised or your emotional body is compromised or there's damage though there are wounds that that have not been understood have not been assessed that we haven't come to terms with then the rising sign can become a shell and that shell sometimes can prevent the natural expression of the sun because the sun is the expressive energy in your chart. And the sun represents your vitality. Vitality as in life, your life force. 
So it is never healthy at a mental, spiritual, or physical level for your sun sign to be hindered. If you want a clue to how to have a healthy existence, your sun sign needs to be uh, cultivated, okay? I'm gonna do a video on uh, how to revitalize yourself based on your sun sign. Um, so you, you want to make sure that you find the, the challenge is to find a way to for your your rising sign and sun sign. I'm watching two people about to have a collision, Mercury retrograde, people not paying attention, minds all going crazy, you know, not present in the moment. Um but your there's a challenge to figure out how to have your rising sign, sun and moon dance together to have them find the common rhythm and to dance. Um, for me, I'm fortunate in that my rising sign and my sun sign are sextile each other, but my sun is quink uh my moon sign. Uh, and uh, my rising sign is Quink Unx, uh, my moon. In other words, I have a, a yod um, between form between my moon and my rising sign and sun sign. So that's the challenge, or one of the challenges in my chart. How to not let emotional challenges prevent the natural way my son expresses um, so yeah your sun sign is your natural expression that's why you have the dot the glyph is the dot in the middle with the circle going around uh, um, uh, orbiting that dot okay so in other words, that dot's like the nucleus and it, it, it expresses outwardly, naturally. Your sun sign is your natural expression coming from your core. That should never be blotted out. We should never allow the world to blot out our natural expression because uh, it, it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Compromises our life force, our vitality. Moon, we've already talked about. It's your emotional body, how you receive the world. Okay? If we look at this in layers, we could say rising sign, sun sign, and then the moon is, is the deepest because we don't go out here and consciously advertise our emotions, at least not typically. Our emotions come through. They express through us. They, the emotions filter through the sun, filter through the rising sign, and then they come up to the surface. But we don't always know the way, by the way a person acts or, or responds what is really going on at an emotional level. For instance, let's say somebody is a, 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 a Aries rising, um, and let's say Aries rising, sun in Leo, moon in Pisces, okay? Uh, no, no, let's say, uh, yeah, moon in Pisces. So this person may come across as loud, uh, maybe a little more aggressive, uh, forceful. Um, uh, to some people may seem combative, but what may not be understood is that this person is really very emotionally sensitive. This person really uh, is caring at the core 
and really wants to be, um, has an emotional need for connection. But through the rising sign, it may come out and appear that this person is, 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 I gotta be the, the leader. It's, you know, it, the, 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 some of the more negative expressions may come through. Or this person may seem very confident when in reality, this person may have this ebb and flow, um, this duality at an emotional level that kind of secretly plagues him or her. That's just one, one example. So this is why it's important to be able to look at these three points in our chart and to figure out how they communicate with each other. What's the natural relationship? And that's one of the challenges we have is to figure out how to make these three very pivotal points dance together. All right, that's it for now. If you um, would like a private reading, I'm available for a multitude of readings astrological parties, birth chart readings, readings for your children, um, classes as well on astrology. You can find out all this stuff at my website, 720astrology.com. Talk to you soon.